You created a self-signed certificate and now it's time to assign it. If you want to know how to create it, check out this video here. In order to assign your self-signed certificate, open the IAS manager on your web server. Expand your server, then expand your sites and click the site to which you want to assign the self-signed certificate. When you click bindings here, you'll see that this specific website works with port 80. The first thing you need to do is to bind port 443, which is the default, but you can actually choose any available port number. Click add, change the type to HTTPS, choose any available IP address, or leave the default option, which will cover all the unassigned IP addresses. Choose a port if you want it to be something other than the standard 443. This window has additional optional settings which are not relevant to this specific situation. Choose your self-signed certificate here and click OK. Your configured settings will be added to the list here. Click Close to finalize this extremely long and complex process. To test your settings, open an internet browser and enter the name or IP address of your internal website. The default is the HTTP option, as you can see here. To test your certificate, add HTTPS in front of the IP address, like this. The secure website is displayed, but also shows this message. The message indicates that the certificate name doesn't fit the URL. If you click this message and then click here, you could then click the certificate icon to see its information. Here is the configured name on the certificate. Check out what happens if I change the URL to reflect the name on the certificate. Please subscribe. The website is secure with an internal self-signed certificate and doesn't show any messages. Clicking the lock icon shows the connection as secure. And clicking this message and then the certificate will display the same certificate information as before, but this time there is no conflict since the name of the certificate fits the URL. I hope this helps you secure all your company internal websites. Remember, you can make as many self-signed certificates as you want, but can only assign one to each website with a specific port. And each certificate is valid for one year. If you want to know more about these things, you should definitely watch this video next.